kind of showed you guys the process of uh, programming a key for the older BMWs, like the E46 models, um, like the early 2000 ones with the EWS, uh, basically EWS uh, module. So basically, you have to take the EWS module outside of the car. You have to get it outside the car. So this is for the older ones. Um, for the 2006 and up, I think the 2006 was cast 2. And then 2007 and up was cast 3. Um, EWS, like I said, is for the older vehicles. Um, so this is just kind of like a, a short over of exactly what you need to do. So basically... Um, this is a connector. It's called APB114. Basically, this is an Autel adapter that allows you to do EWS keys. Um, in order to do the, the key itself, you have to take out the um, security module, which is the EWS from this. This is what the EWS looks like. And then this is the adapter that plugs into the Autel. And then um, the EWS plugs into the, into the um, adapter for the Autel. Um, and then, uh, it plugs into the XP pro, um, for, um, XP 400 pro, and then it connects to the, uh, Maxium IM508. So I'm going to show you guys the process of adding like a key. I don't have the vehicle with me. Um, this is just showing like a short overview, like I said, of how the process goes. Um, you just hit, um. I'm going to go back for you guys because I know you guys didn't see that. So you're going to hit Programmer. Then you're going to hit Accept. Okay. For it. Now everything is already connected already. I'm going to show you guys the diagram that's showing that it needs to be sorted. Just this one wire has to be sorted on the board behind. So right now I'm going to go to um, Chip. EEPROM. Chip Read and Write. Immobilizer, BMW. So this wouldn't be a CAS or a FEM system. Those are for the newer cars, the new BMWs. It's CAS 1, 2, 3. CAS 1 was for the early um, 2007 series. And then CAS 2 was like, um, I think 2006 BMWs. Like, yeah, the 3 series. And then the 3 plus is like 2007 and up to like... Uh, cast 4 and then cast 3 different modules and then cast 4 would be like 2000 and I think like 13 and up for the 3 series and then for the 5 series it started I think in like 2011 so we have cast 4 unlock backup cast 4 unlock um, ES3 K line O 4 DJ okay and then they have EWS 4 here so we're going to be um, EWS um K line is to write and this is to read. Okay, so I'm gonna go to read here. It says please connect. So it the uh, device does need a 12 volt source. So I bought a 12 volt uh, power adapter to plug into it, and then the USB that plugs into the top of the unit. Okay, then um, you click OK, then you hit all. Okay, then this is a schematic. So basically, what is this gonna do is Basically, it shows you exactly how to go about doing it. Then it says, first prepare the APB114 matching board. That would be this. That's the board. Okay. And then, uh, basically, check the circuit board of the components. Now, I'm going to zoom in on the board. And as you guys can see, that board looks exactly like this board. Okay. So then um, you have to kind of look at the chip here on it to see what kind of chip it is. I already confirmed that it's, um, what is it? The 4DJ, uh, yeah, the OD46J, okay? So I already confirmed that already by checking that. If you guys are looking for that, it's really, really hard to see. But it's imprinted right there. OD. It's upside down on here. I'll have to go around. Let me see. You guys, real quick. It's right here. Can't really see it perfect, but it's right here. Okay. Okay, let me get back to that. Okay. So I'm going to go back to all again. 
Okay, so we saw the schematic. This is the schematic showing it. So this is the front side here. Okay, with the adapter. Okay, this is the adapter and this is the front side. And then the back side, I have to solder the joint here on the bottom here, which I already did, which is right here. It's not the best soldering. It's pretty bad, but it works. I was able to pull the information already Okay, um, this board was just for practice. Um, it's not functioning correctly. Like it was a it was a bad board or whatever. But I just wanted to see if I can figure out how to do the information. So I'm showing you guys how I did it. So um, that was the schematic showing you guys it basically. But this is the way it's done. Uh, you just see the schematic here. So that that one joint on, you connect everything. Okay, and then this, the way it looks here, this is how it looks without it, okay? And then the XP400 Pro, it plugs into the top here. So you just take this device and slide that in the top and uh, push it in like so. And that's it, it's connected, okay? Then after you do that, you click read and then it'll read the data off this and then you can save it to your thing to your uh, device but um i'm not gonna um save it to my device because i already have it saved so once you do that once you hit read it'll go to a screen and it'll show a bunch of numbers then you just hit save and then um you press escape you do exactly what i'm doing right now you press escape 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 boom, boom, boom. Okay, so right now I have the Tito Max here and I have a chip. This will be the chip that will be going in a BMW key that will be working with the BMW um, that I'm going to program in. But this is a completely different device. I'm just using this to show you guys that the transponder, this is a 7935 transponder. It's an ID44 chip, okay, that I'll be using. So this device is just basically, obsolete. I'm not even going to use this anymore. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to put this here. And that's where you program it, the new key. So it'll program the data to the new chip. So once the program, the data is programmed to the new chip, all I have to do is take this, put it in the key, put it in the BMW key, and then um, yeah. once you get into the car, you could just turn the ignition and the car will start. And then the buttons you program in manually. Okay. So basically, what I'm gonna do now is go back again, back again. I'm gonna go to right key VIA dump because it's saved. So then press OK. Then I'm gonna go to Europe. Then I'm gonna go to BMW. Then it shows all the different cast models. One, two, three, semi smart. Semi smart is the the fobs that you put in the dashboard to start it. Smart key is the ones that you don't need to put in the dashboard. Um, then they have another cast three, semi um cast three plus, because it's regular cast three and then it's cast three plus. And then it's Cast 3 Plus, iStat, yeah, different models. So then it's Cast 4, then it's EWS 1, 2, 3, 4, and then there's motorcycles, which I didn't even know. But I'm going to click EWS 3. And then I'm going to click right here. Please wait. Okay. So now I'm going to click on Load Data. So basically here it is. This is the file here. Okay. This is the file that was saved. And as you can see, it says... OD46J. I'm going to hit OK. So it's analyzing the data. He said the data is ready. Select the key number and press make key to make a new key. Okay. So basically it wants to, you to pick a slot for the key. As you can see, key slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So 5 keys are used slots are used and one two three four five is unused okay so i'm going to add it in key slot six okay then i'm going to click on make key okay add a key number six hit yes so now that's blinking showing that it's writing the key That's going to continue blinking because it's writing it to this, the chip. 
this is how all the keys are made for the older BMWs. Just showing you guys how it's done. And this is the process. Okay, still writing the key. Please wait. Right after this, you don't have to do anything else. Just, just take the chip out, like I said before. Put it in this remote or any kind of remote, aftermarket remote that you have. Just put the chip in, cut the blade, and it cranks right up and the car will start. But, yeah, you have to put this module back in, though. This one, you have to put the module back in, the case here, and then just plug it back into the car. With this adapter, just plug it back in. You plug this back in, and you go back to the car with the new key, and you just turn it, and the car will start. Okay, it says operation of the key is ready for use, okay? So, basically, now it says key slot six is used okay so that means that the key was entered into the system and now it's good to go so then you just hit escape 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 oh uh, well uh, you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to programmer and i'm gonna check the um the actual chip to check and see if it's locked now because it was unlocked over there on that machine. But now I'm going to check it on here. So it's automatically going to detect the, the chip type. On this, this is another way of checking it. This is how to do it on the IM508. Okay. And it has a rolling code number, so that means it's locked. Okay. So says it right here, PCF7935, key ID. It's given a key ID and everything, so it's good to go. So now I'm going to read the key's information. Again, let's see what else. Just please wait. And that's the key's information. That's the data from the computer. Okay? I mean, that's the data from this chip. In order to add it to the car. So after this, you're done. Just back out your machine. Okay, let's just unplug this device from here, like so. You just take this out. This just slides out. Like so. Then I have to unsolder the joint back here. After I unsolder that joint, it slides back into this box, goes into the car, plug the adapter back in to the car. Once you plug this back in, Put the key in the ignition, and you're good to go. All right, I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys, showing you guys the process. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace.